Melissa Cole, the math lady. Today we're talking about indirect measure. Indirect measure. It's really just a fancy way to talk about similar triangles. Well, what we know about similar triangles is that the corresponding sides of the similar triangles are proportional. We're going to apply that same concept today to shadows that are cast by the sun. Okay, so let's take a look at our example. I have a person, let's say that that person is six feet tall and the sun is over here and it casts a shadow that is 12 feet long. Okay, and we can actually do, 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 draw in a little imaginary triangle where one side is six and the other is 12. But let's say we have a tree much bigger. And we don't know how long that tree is, but, or how high that tree is, but we do know that the shadow that is cast is 36 feet. Are we able to figure out how tall, or estimate at least, how tall this tree is? Yes, we can. Again, we're going to use what we know about proportions to set this up. 6 is to this question mark as 12 is to our 36. So let's just set up a proportion. We're going to do 6 over 12 equals my question mark over 36. Here we go. 12 times what is 36? 12 times 3 is 36. 6 times 3 is what? 6 times 3 is 18. So that tells us that our tree is 18 feet tall. And the good news is you don't even have to have the same units to work it out. Here we have something that's in feet and we have something that's in meters. So let's say this is you, I don't know if you're four feet tall, and also you have a friend who's wearing stilts and they're measure, we measured them in meters. We still can set up the same kind of proportion. We have four feet to two feet equals something in meters, question mark, to four meters. The good news is it doesn't matter. You know that your answer is going to be meters, so you just solve the proportion the same way. Two times what is four? Two times two is four, so four times two is eight. Your friend on stilts is eight meters tall. So long as you remember you're using the same philosophy, or the same thinking as similar triangles, we're just talking about people or trees or poles with their shadow, and their shadow is the base of the triangle. Okay, that's it. That's it for me today. Go check out the website and we're going to do some practice problems on these similar triangles or these indirect measures with shadows. Okay, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.